put it in the shop. There we go. She is off. And she looks naked. So I won't be doing too much to this unit. Because we pretty much refurbished it last winter. Except I'll be changing out the guts. Be putting a new power pack in here. But I'm not sure if I'm just going to replace the power pack, which would be the easiest thing to do. Or if I should run the pump off the transmission or even off the motor. Or if I should get a gas powered power pack to run this unit, keep everything absolutely isolated from the truck. I'm not sure yet. I'll probably keep it simple, but nothing's ever simple when you talk to farmers. But while I ponder that question in my mind, I will be repairing this deck. As you can see, there's a lot of stress because of the original mount that broke loose. So it was just the wood itself holding it in place. So what I want to do is cut it out here, back to the last beam. And then I'm going to install another beam with a plate over top. And I'm going to redo the mount here to make her solid. So that's the plan with that. So I just gotta start cutting and welding. It'll be the project for this week. Now that my week is freed up a bit, I'll be working on that. And a trip to Winnipeg to bring the specs and try to figure something out. Whatever it is, it's gonna be more reliable than what I had going, because what I had going it's completely worn out. Boy, it sure looks different, eh? spend too much time critiquing my welds and my words I get her done so what I'm doing is I'm replacing the wood part of the deck with a steel deck made out of tubing so this unit can sit on something solid instead of something spongy like a wood deck so I'm putting the beams in and instead I'm building these beams here. This is my beam that supports the unit this way. Like here's the old one. As you can see it was cracking out. I took the torch to it to cut it off, but it was cracking out all the way along the beam. The post of the easy loader fit in here, and this goes to support the machine from falling backwards like that. And obviously this is pulling apart and caused me a lot of grief of the easy loader going this way taking it out of level. So <coughs> I put a uh, replacement piece in here just to reinforce it to get me through the season. That worked. But now we're through the season. This is cut out and it is gone. Scrap metal. So I'm building a complete solid metal brace underneath of it. The post is going to fit into here. <clears throat> and this is going to extend down a little bit further. So I'm going to have two instead of a clamp like that I'm going to put a, uh, a U-channel bolt, two of them along the bottom, to clamp that post against this beam and this beam then will support it this way on the top end of the deck. I didn't feel like going underneath the deck to do all this welding. I thought it'd be easier just up on top and I'll cut this board to fit around that. So I might even put another one in there just to make my life a little easier. Who knows? We'll see. So anyways, 
This is where the post of the easy loader fits down into. And I'm building a little structure down here to then clamp that post to this beam that then distributes the, uh, the torque this way along the deck. Should hold it a little more secure. I have to build the rest of the <clears throat> to build the rest of the uh, metal platform yet, so I'll get that done today, and hopefully, hopefully get this unit back up and onto the truck today. I have to do that outside because we don't have any type of lift mechanism in the shop yet. And I don't know, it looks kind of miserable outside. So maybe I'll leave it for tomorrow to when it's a little bit warmer. <clears throat> so that is my project for the day. Hopefully I can get that done and feel productive, get something done. Just kind of piecing it together as it goes. That's kind of what I do. But by the time I get done this, it's going to be a hell of a lot more sturdier than it was when I begun. Piecing away at jobs at hand. That's what winter is for.